What's up, Terry Warfield? I hope you're having a good day. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm a filmmaker. I love doing motivational videos and I love talking about all things tech. So if you like that type of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe to the notification squad. If you ain't here, drop a hashtag up in here just so I know you're up in the comments. So before we get into anything, you know that little snippet I just played for you? Let's play that back real quick. Just a small piece without music so you can see how awkward it is. So the reason that I did that is to show you how important music is. Have you ever been like riding down the street in the car and the song came on and it instantly reminded you of a memory of your past or a situation or experience? Music is one of the main driving factors of our culture and our society. Now, especially for people like me, who are content creators, who are constantly making videos, I use music as one of the tools to drive the emotion behind my videos. So you like, when I make those motivational vlogs, one of the key pieces of driving that feel or driving the message is the music. And if you're any type of creative, you already know how powerful music can be. So one of the things I used to do when I first got started on YouTube is I didn't know any better. I used to just go on YouTube and hijack music. You know what I'm saying? So I would, I would do the whole thing. I would find a royalty free copyright music, blah, blah, blah. I would copy and paste the little excerpt from the description into my video and hope for the best. Well, let me tell you what happened. One time, I uploaded a video. This was when I had first got started on YouTube, and I thought I was in the clear. I did the whole thing, right? And then, like four or five days later, I got the email from YouTube saying that this music belongs to somebody else. And that's what I wanna help you guys avoid if you're getting started on YouTube, or maybe if you're just any type of creative. If you need music, music is key, and you don't wanna sabotage your own work. Imagine putting hours of editing into something only to not be able to monetize it or only to not be able to share it on certain platforms because copyright belonged to somebody else. So since then I've gotten wiser. So instead of ripping off music from YouTube or SoundCloud and then Facebook telling me I can't post or YouTube copyright claim in my videos, I use Epidemic Sound. Now there's a few reasons that I use Epidemic. Number one, I trust them. You see Epidemic music everywhere. You never hear issues about Epidemic and that's important to me. So when I go to shop for my music, I would rather get it from a place where I know I'm not gonna have any trouble with copyrights or anything like that. Number two, it's easy to use. Number three, they offer a free 30 day trial. So this is this is killer for people who maybe want to test out the service. If you sign up for Epidemic Sound, I'll give you a link in the description that you can click on. That'll take you straight there. But you get a free 30 day trial. And that means for 30 days, you get to pick whatever music you want to pick. During this trial, you can literally download every single song off the website and you can use it. And within that 30 days, even if you don't continue on with the subscription, all of those videos are good to go. You'll never get a copyright claim or strike on any of those videos so if you want to test it out just try to try a lot if you don't like it just cancel it you don't have to keep it going but anyways the link to that is in the description the fourth reason i like it is because the music variety is so dope listen y'all know with these motivational vlogs i like having that emotional moving type music but on the flip side to that is when i do like my tech videos i don't i don't need that type of vibe so i'm looking for like chill music or upbeat music and there's plenty of that stuff from every genre, from every category that you could think of. Some of the songs have vocals, some of them don't. A few things with the vocals before I move on to the next thing. You can download the full song, right? You can download it either MP3 or WAV format, but let's just say you only want the vocals. You don't want the instruments, or let's just say you just want the bass or the snares and you don't want the vocals, or you just want the piano or the flutes or whatever it is. You can download what are called stems. You can download pieces of the music without downloading the full track. And it's the same thing. You never have to worry about copyright strike. Now my fifth favorite reason that I use Epidemic is because there is a full sound library. So you might not realize that while you're watching videos, your mind is heavily influenced by sounds, right? So if I did a speed ramp and I didn't put a swoosh on there, let me show you real quick. Now adding that effect, 
sells the speed ramp. So on Epidemic, there's an entire sound library. So whether you need a car honking or a train or any of that stuff, the whole music library is there. Same thing, you'll never get copyright claims. And lastly is the ability to filter by genre or mood or whatever it is and also to make playlists. So when I want happy music, I can just click on happy music. If I want epic music or building music that gets louder, I can literally set up filters for that stuff. I can also make playlists. The playlists are huge for me because again, when I want my serious music, I can now go on here when I'm bored or when I'm not editing and I can just shop for music. And if I like a song that I think is a good candidate for one of my videos, I can just add it to a playlist called Motivation. Or if I'm looking for just my regular upbeat music for regular videos, then I can add that to that playlist. So when the next time I need to edit, I don't have to go shopping around for songs during the editing process, which is huge to me. So those are the main reasons I choose to use Epidemic. Remember, music is one of the most powerful things that you can add to any type of creative project. And you don't wanna do all of that work to slap a track on there and then get hit with a copyright claim and then you not be able to share it or you not be able to monetize it. Just do it the right way and you can do it for free for 30 days. So anyways, that's all I have for you today. Try it out. If you don't like it, cancel it. Slap me after you do it. Tell me it was a bad recommendation, whatever. I seriously don't think that that will be your outcome. But let me know what you think. If you like the video, make sure you comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I would really appreciate it. Piece of chicken grease, I'm out. Peace.